once again we're here with another mine area video and today we'll be showing you how to set up a minecraft cracked hunger game server yes hunger games so you can make your own hunger game server like i did okay so first off we'll begin with setting up this is my youtube channel by the way we'll begin by setting up um how to set up the server you go to bucket.org as seen up here in the url go to that and then you go straight here and then you download the latest recommended build. This is the .jar file which sets up the server and all the etc. La -di -da -di -da. So click that, it'll download and once you've downloaded, go to your downloads file. It's, I like my background. Um, okay, so downloads bucket. Here we are. And then once you've downloaded it, all you have to do, that's the file it downloads by the way, right there. And all you have to do, double click on it and it will generate these files through the Java and all these files are the server files. The next thing you want to do is go like this, rename, and get rid of all this. This just makes it so much more easier. This is just the version and all that, so get rid of that. It's 1.3.1, we know, by downloading it and reading it. Um, let's try that again. Cancel. Okay, for some reason it's not working, but what I'll do is I'll leave it like that anyway, so it just makes it easier to edit it later on. But here we've got the world servers and all that. We want to make it a cracked server, so we go into the server.yml. Online mode, it's on true, change that to false. And click, you can, there's lots more settings, you can alter that. And for showing you this, I'll just leave that blank because it's on the computer server, not a actual port server. All right, so that's all in. And all you have to do now is I'll show you how to create a .bat file. You can search up on Google how to do a make a .bat file or whatever, or even download one, even a Minecraft server starter. But here is how to make one. It's really simple and straightforward. You can oh hold on, just come on, load, take your time, paste it here. So it's copying one I've already got from one of my servers backups, and make this full screen again. Okay, so here it is, the server .bat. It's a Windows command. So here, here we have all the stuff that starts the Java up. You can get this off Google. Um, I'll put it in the description of my YouTube video just for you guys. So copy all that. Echo offset by la di da di da. This just gets it all. This tells you here it's using one gig RAM. If it's not, if your server's lagging, increase the RAM to a decent amount that you have on your computer here. Two gig or three gig or whatever. I'm staying on one because I have a I'm recording and it would screw my computer up if I ran it and recorded. So anyways, and right here where we have the craftbucket.jar, that's what I was trying to edit the name before to craftbucket to make it easier so I wouldn't have to type that hyphen 1.3 la di da di da but it seems I'll be doing that. Um, so I'll go here, go 1.3.1, um, and then uh, alt capital, make it cap sensitive, dot o. There we go and dot jar so that's it all there it's all been filled out save start server and it should run let's see and sometimes if you get an error that comes up here press any key to continue like what the hell's happened i don't know it may be because the one i gave you is for server dot 64 bit for but main computers, if you have a notebook or something, netbook, sorry, whatever, um, you have to get a 32-bit one, search that up on Google, 32-bit server.bat run, Minecraft, whatever, and that will get you all the stuff here. This is just for 64-bit, but to view your bit, go here, right-click on computer, properties, and it should show up, and la da 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 So anyways, go back to the server. Oh, it's loading now. Here we are, 64-bit, there we go go back to the server so it all ran the servers already um now the next thing to do is to get the hunger games plugin all servers come that when you generate the dot jar come with a plugins folder to put minecraft plugins to alter the game when you play for your server to make it more attractive or whatever so we go to bucket.org actually we'll just search it up on google yeah, a lot faster you can also search up plugins on bucket but mainly people use dev.bucket and all the rest so google's just an easy alternative solution so if this loads come on load 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 there we go okay so we go survival games plugin and mostly plugins on google are referred to bucket and minecraft as lots of people use them all right so i'm into the survivals games this is the hunger games plugin i use for my server and here it is here i'll show you how to set it all up in a moment so here it is here the latest one is 
2.0. You click here, download, find it on Google, Survival Games, and here it is, 1.3.1, updated on the 6th of August. It may vary depending on what the date is in the present that you watch this video. But anyways, so right now, once you've downloaded that, you go to your downloads, which is right here. You get the survival games, extract it. You, you will need um, RA to extract it. Copy that plugin, which I'll do now. Go to your recently generated server, plugins. Paste that in there. And then all you have to do is start the server.log, um, server.bat, sorry, my bad. And it will generate, bring the plugin into the server. And yeah, see, loading survival games 4.9. And, but yeah, so we'll start all the server up, set the spawn up. And then we'll begin with how to set the hugger games up on the server. So I'll, let's go to the how to set it up on the server right now. Okay, so I'm on my server at the moment, my area, and what I've done is instead of going onto the server I just created, it's too laggy for my recording and as well to host a server, so I've just gone onto my one. It's still pretty laggy as it is. But anyways, also with the server.properties you edited before, sometimes if it doesn't remove removing the 25565, put local host there. So when you start the server, join a multiplayer, type local host, it will work definitely for you to join. Okay, anyways, this next thing you have to do is you have to be able to set this board over here. This is the lobby board. Every Hunger Games Arena has, or every, the survival plugin offers you a lobby which is here for the server. So all you have to do to set the lobby is type slash Hunger Games set, uh, set lobby spawn, and that will set the lobby spawn. So right now I've got it, so when you type slash HG Come on, join, and push enter, you'll join to where the spawn is set for the lobby, which it should take you to in about, see, this is the spawn for the lobby, right here. So, and then you come out to here, and so that's the spawn, that's how you set the spawn. Next thing you want to do is you want to be able to set the arena, and all you have to do is click on the sign, you join the Hunger Games, and you can vote, and whatever. See the Hunger Games plugin for more details. All you have to do, left click here go all the way down to the other end, has to be 3 by 9 I'm pretty sure, right click there, and then all you do is type slash Hunger Games set lobby wall, and if you've got any arenas created, what it does is it automatically refreshes these signs and makes an automatic update wall thing, so you can just walk up to the sign over here, click on it, join the arena, and yeah. Also with the Hunger Games arena, what you have to do is you have to get the wand and you have to go slash hunger games set arena I think it is and then space one and then what that will do is however much area you selected you should know your world edit commands like slash expand vert getting top sky to bottom um, once you've selected the arena you want you type slash slash hunger no slash hunger games set arena one or whatever it tells you all on the plugins and it should tell me if I just type slash hunger games slash hg help for survival games yep so you've got a delete arena we've got four start we've got set lobby spawn and we've got um, it should be create arena okay i don't know where it is but it is there somewhere and you've got set spawn next that means when you're in the tubes you can set the spawn for each tube once you've got all the spawn set you can go slash hg space enable or space one that brings an Arena 1 to this lobby wall here, which is the top line, and then arena enable Arena 2 to this one here. And then people can click on it, whatever, and sometimes you may have to reset the, the lobby spawn wall to fix up the server, and yeah. Anyways, thank you for watching this mine area video on how to create the survival games, hunger games, um, and a cracked server. Thank you. Please help me out a lot. Please, please, please do it. Subscribe up the top. Help me out. And can you also share this on Facebook, show your friends, and whatever it is you do to get YouTube video views for kind people like me to show you videos. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe yet again. And yeah, we hope to see you around in the future. Thank you.